Okay, yeah, maybe this is a little weak, but I've got a second glossy news, uh, you know, expose that I've got to share. This one isn't about food. All the suggestions I've been getting on the channel have been about food because they don't realize that I do other stuff. So I put this one up. It's how a bridge is really made. And I've been getting some great suggestions after that because now my my fans, my limited number of fans, my my seven fans all realize that I I make stuff other than food. I show how anything is made. So here you go, my friends. Here you go. How a bridge is really made. Bridges. Bridges span everything from troubled waters to Terabithia and are a major important. But how are they really made? Where do you bridge? First, political leaders identify a place where bridges done need to be made. They do this by looking where folks go and how much water or ravines there do is. From there, they identify the shortest point from A to B where they should bridge. Sadly, due to environmental issues raised by the super rich donors living in this prime real estate, this path rarely can be chosen. Fortunately, Wealthy titans of industry and campaign donors locate nearby areas where property values are blacker. The poors protest this new location, as it will make them homeless and jobless, and several layers of government bureaucrats pretend to listen. Meanwhile, the landed class buy up all this property at bargain basement rates, often through eminent domain so it can be sold back to the transit authority for 10 times the price just a few years later. Friends and family of those politicians are hired to review, consider, and discuss route alternatives before dismissing them out of hand. How Think Bridge The design phase begins with in-competition, open to the public, and all firms, large and small. They look at various styles, types, and possibilities before selecting the firm owned by the Appropriation Committee Chairman's son-in-law. Environmental impact studies are conducted by a number of companies which have dirt on committee members or employ their mistresses. With that hurdle passed, the project gets the Club of Baby Seal approval. How they fun do! Since bridges ain't free, you have to find barrels of Johnny Cash so it goes to the voters. Politicians start with an insanely high number, like four billion dollars. Voters reject this, so they drop it to two billion, with half of it going to buses, trains, parks, museums, and housing relocation programs. This is just the grease in the voting cogs, as none of this will ever actually materialize. By controlling the media, this is perceived as a good value, though it has no relation to reality. How plan, Bridge? The project is sent out for bidding, with all eligible companies able to participate. It's important to add peculiar requirements to exclude any company that isn't owned by donors or close personal friends. You might stipulate that the Builder must have experience with the project in the Savage County Valley, knowing full well that only one company does. This is not just technically legal, but quite common, and even encouraged by the United States Chamber of Commerce. Once all the bids are collected, the contract is assigned to the company originally intended to reap the benefits in the first place. How do you bridge? With rebar, concrete, and reinforced steel, the bridge construction begins in vain. All the while dedicating 20 to 30 percent of the budget to advertising how many jobs it creates and how good it is for the economy, as well as lavish site visits for the legislators involved. These include, but are not limited to, sold out show tickets, yacht vacations, comfort women, and trips hunting pheasant, elk, and man, the most dangerous game of all. Union manipulation ensures votes keep coming in, despite near-constant use of non-union labor. 
Local law enforcement are brought in to infiltrate the unions to quash any long-term troublemakers. After 6 to 12 months, the project reaches a point of no return. So they go back and ask lawmakers to double the budget, back to the original $4 billion. Reluctantly, they agree, but we ain't quite bridge yet. Upon 90% completion, Native American burial grounds buried by contractors just a few years earlier are discovered allowing the budget to double one last time to $8 billion for the original $1 billion bridge. They did bridge. After just 18 to 20 years, the new bridge opens and all is right with the world. The lawmakers have all since left office for greener pastures, lobbying their colleagues for these same sorts of projects. All scandals forgiven and forgotten. And even though the contractor is found liable in court for the billions in cost overruns, they no longer exist, leaving only private sector growth and profits and a new bridge for all the citizens to freely enjoy. A temporary toll is added the month before opening to pay for the bridge, though it will remain for all eternity. And that is how a bridge do come to be.